but what I want to do is I would like to lift the tarpaulin up at least probably to the raster that I have running across the top. Alright, back at the farm. Wasn't really planning on doing a video or doing a lot of work, but today was a real rough day in the office for me. Chaos for me today, but we keep fighting, we fight on through. So instead of me just going home and sitting down, I decided that I'm gonna put in some work. Um it's not it's nothing big, but just looking for a specific size nail. Um, I don't want a big nail. Um, it's nothing major that I'm gonna do, but it's gonna kind of perfect. It's gonna kind of aid me in the sheep a little bit. I found that, especially this morning, yesterday, I went ahead and I put up an extra tarp tarpaulin on the sheep on the sheep's pen you see the new blue one at the front here I put that up yesterday because in the, the section closest to me on the inside there uh, I wanted to get some more bales of hay but I found that this old one the blue one underneath kept getting torn up and until I can change it completely I want to change it completely from tarpaulin to, to uh, linoleum um, people use linoleum flooring for flooring sorry so I wanted to change that completely the complete roof to linoleum to linoleum flooring but until I do that I just drench that over there so that the, the hay that I buy will not get wet immediately so but until I do that but when I did that sorry um well look at that look at these rat holes these rats are really making a mess of me I mean like seriously you can see the rat holes all the way along the perimeter of my structure here I'm really gonna have to start savagely see them I'm gonna really have to start savagely fighting rats you can see the rat droppings there yep and a deep rat hole there I'm gonna really have to start fighting these rats like tooth and nail there's another one um, to really try to get rid of them or at least keep them at bay for a while anyway so what I'm gonna do is my thoughts are um, when I went inside, actually let me show you a picture of inside before I do what I do because it may change like tenfold. So I'm going to show you a video, a picture, get you, give you an idea of what my problem is. After I put on that tarp, that tarp obviously did a lot for me in terms of light. Like even as you look in there, you cannot see past the first door. And as I come early on mornings, and, late on, and leave late on evenings, I really have a big problem seeing comfortably into the pen. So you can see how how dark, I'm still fighting rats here guys, so just bear with me a little bit. Um, you can see that in here it's pretty dark. Uh, rat holes all over the place, there's a big rat hole there. Um, for camera purposes, it may do. In terms of the lighting, sheep, not barbers, black belly sheep, there's yin and yang of course um, but what I want to do is I would like to lift the tarpaulin up at least probably to the raster that I have running across the top so I'm gonna obviously have to do that from the back side um, I don't have to worry about dogs or, or anything getting in because it is wired on the inside um, so I'm secure that side so I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit if not the whole thing I'm just gonna do it to probably half of the entire height of the structure so I'm going to go on the other side see if I can get that done what I hope this does for me too is not just bring in light but I really hope that it kind of cuts back on the amount of rats that feel comfortable moving around in here because of the lack of light right pens are clean nice and dry there's another rat hole there the pens are clean nice and dry and that's one of my other problems that if I lift that up the rain is going to come in and wet but hopefully it'll only wet on that edge on the back there there's no sheep in the back pen so I don't have to worry about that let's get started and see how far I go I get before I have to dive out and collect the family so man go 
So we're just going to see how far we get with that. Um, I managed to get some feed over the weekend. Um, check my, my past videos. You guys will see the type of feed that I feed my sheep and goat. So they're good on that. I just have to get here. And this is the inside of where I was saying the hair would go. The outside. So you can see what the tarpaulin looks like on the inside. So I just draped that over there until um, the, the project for the linoleum starts. So I have my nails. I have my hammer on the other side. I got a pair of gloves. Um, you just bring in mind. We, we want to remember. This is like a disclaimer. We want to remember that as you're working, we try to work as safely and as carefully as possible. So wear some gloves, guys. If you need eye protection, get some eye protection. It's never too. It's never too uncool to have to be protected. Um, it's as easy as a rusty nail can cut you. There's tetanus. There's leptospirosis around here. Um, so you want to be able to to know that you're comfortable working um, carefully. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these two pieces of board at the bottom. That should free this up. I'm going to literally turn it up, and then it's going to be probably about to there. I can guess, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to literally just turn it up and nail it back down. So let me start that. Put down the phone. Let me start that and see how far I get. I'll catch back up with you when I'm done. Sorry that you're looking at my shadow, but <clears throat> shadows are fine too. Um, so I got it done. <laughs> Honestly, it was not as bad or as tedious a task as I thought it would be. Because it's kind of done. I mean, sorry with the glare at the top. Well, that might make it better. There you go. Right, so it's done. Um, again, guys, this is really just really super makeshift. So don't judge me. Don't judge me. Uh, I really just wanted more light in their pen. Uh, it may be a lot more air for them also. Um, it's not a bad thing. The only downside to this is that when the heavy rains come, I may have to come and just drop it. Again, nothing hard. It's just one board that I put back up. I can always rip it back out and put it back down a little lower to make sure that, they, um, that the, the rain doesn't impact them too much. Um, they're in there seemingly okay so I'm gonna just take a walk around to the front and see how that how that is from the inside but I think um, now that it's afternoon time and the sun is setting the, the pen is literally facing the west so then obviously the sun will be piercing in from this direction that's why you guys can see my shadow directly in front of me here because the sun is will be literally piercing this way that means on mornings, the sun will definitely be coming from that end into the pen and my shadow as it stands will then be coming in behind me, if that makes sense to you guys. But anyway, if you think about it, it would. So in here it looks a lot brighter, forgive the glare, but I, I like the brightness that in here now sheds, it gives me light. It gives me air and I also believe that it will it will keep the heat out from in here uh, I believe that in here can get very very hot at times so that is a plus two um, I'm not necessarily gonna let them out but I just want to get their feet in troughs because what I want to do too is I want to stop leaving their feet in bowls out at night time so I just want to go in and grab yeah, they'll run out anyway. They're, they'll be fine. They're feeding troughs. Just grab it, dust it out, whatever. Because I find that there are still too many. You see the rat holes, guys? I need to to beat these rats. These rats are really starting to annoy me. Like, seriously. It's, it's just getting ridiculous. Otherwise, the pens are superb. I love, I like the structure of the pens. Um, in the future, probably the very, very near future, I am going to gut it. Uh, I feel a lot better with hair being open, that I can gut it comfortably. Um, again, because of the glare, the, 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 the camera quality is going to be darker, but you, you guys can see what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to gut it. A lot of these boards now have termites in them, but I'm going to get rid of all of the partitions. Obviously not the outside boards. I'm going to get rid of all the partitions and uh, silly goat. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of all the partitions. I'm going to replace all the partitions with board 
that hopefully will not be as susceptible, as susceptible to um, to the termites so in here will look way different when I'm done with it I'm just gonna give these guys some water um, she, she's eating the hay that I have there left over but that's their that's their little snack I guess for the evening um, again I'm just gonna remove their their feeding trough I set some rat bait another reason why I'm taking out the feeding trough I set, I set some rat bait here a rat box uh, with some poison in it so what removing it will do I mean the goat is pretty much empty hers is empty so I don't even have to remove hers but what that is going to do is that is going to now allow me to well allow the rats to only have that one source of food that one source of food being being the um the one source of food being I don't know if you guys can see the, the sheep properly anyway the one source of food being the rat poison and that's what we want to encourage we want to encourage that the um the rats can only eat what we want them to eat and that being the rat poison it gets into their system they carry it back they do whatever they and they eventually hopefully die very quickly or and that at least keeps them out of bay for the time being um otherwise i'll have to try different methods of of um catching slash killing the rats they're really starting to be a pain so guys this was just a quick um a quick should i say modification to the sheep pen you can see straight to the back now you can see all the plants at the back it's awesome um just a quick update on ying he was looking a little sick i wormed them a couple of days ago um most of you call it drenching them i drenched them a couple of days ago let me see if they're gonna come out because yeah usually follow the goat but the goat is obviously not coming out so they don't know to come out but i'll see if i can just get them to come out right then i'll go out but right ying was looking a little sick so i was monitoring him today he looks a lot better you no know, black belly sheep are very very hardy most of the time so most of the time we don't have to dose them with too much medication they tend to to get better on their own um, he's looking way better than yesterday he was i was really concerned i actually called the vet but the vet said to just monitor him so that's exactly what my plans are i'm just going to monitor him um there are really no heap of medications for the black belly the barbellis black belly sheep um so it's really just to monitor and make sure he gets better soon enough i'm gonna have to separate them because the rams they're gonna be coming in to to be able to, to mate again guys these rams are still young they're only about four months old so in, a, in another two months or so they'll be of age that they can start well what we call jumping the ewes or are serving the use uh, I don't want to I don't want to be caught by surprise so I am going to monitor that that process as they get older I may only well I will not me I will only let one ram serve at a time because I don't want a, a lot of inbreeding I'm actually supposed to get some more use to join chocolate so I'm hoping that they're gonna be around her age hopefully unbred and we'll see how that goes but for now Barbados black belly sheep, young rams, chocolate, young you. So um, I should have a promising set of sheep coming up into the end of the year. Hopefully, keeping my fingers crossed, starting over my flock, um, breeding specific Barbados black belly sheep, Nirvana farms, everything you do, guys. Inspire yourself.